Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in this video I'm going to be putting the Hemisphere S631 up to test against the Sokia GRX3. So what we did is we set up each rover with their respective base. We get the best performance we can on UHF radios, and we're going to be taking it to four different locations to see what the fixed time is. Let's get into it. So the first test I got Rene to do was just an open sky test here. So we have a power line nearby, but other than that, there's no obstruction. So the receiver should be able to handle this without any issue. So what we do is we lose the fix by dumping the antenna. And then we walk it over to the stand, flip it over. And once the point hits the ground, we start the timer here. So the hemisphere fixed in 1.9 seconds and the GRX3 fixed in about twice as long at 4.4 seconds in the open sky. And then the second test we did here is a two-story building that takes out the entire south sky. And that's important because in Canada, that's where all our satellites are. So it's, this was always an impressive test for us to do the first time we did it with the 631. And we're going to see how the S631 does compared to the GRX3. So again, we flip the antenna, lose the fix, and then walk it over to the stand. And once that point hits the ground, I'm going to start the timer. And last time the S631 handled this without any issue. And again, in 5.6 seconds, we get a fix. So no issue when we're losing over half of our sky, and it's the south sky, the most important one. The GRX3, after three and a half minutes, is still not fixed. It's just floating. Third test now is one in a stand of three pine trees with a big deciduous tree, although, as you can see, it's in the winter, so we don't have any leaves on it. And then there's also a power line running through the middle of the trees. So again, flip the antenna, lose the fix. We're rocking it into our stand. Once the point hits the ground, I'm starting that timer. And this one, last time the S631 had a little bit of trouble, but it fixed pretty quickly. And this time it fixed in four seconds and we had to wait a while to see if the GRX3 would do anything. So again, we're seeing great performance in Canopy from the S631. And after two minutes, 20, we're still floating with the GRX3. So not a great look for the GRX3. And the final test we ran was the one where we did it in the alley where we have a power line with three, four intersecting lines and then a big pine tree and there's also a deciduous tree behind us. But again, since it's the middle of winter here in Canada, we don't have any big leafy trees. So we can't really test that right now. So again, we flip, lose fix, throw it on the stand. And after five seconds, we get a fix with the S631. So great performance again under canopy, near buildings and near power lines. The S631 can handle just about anything, and it takes a full minute 27 for the GRX3 to fix. So you're looking huge fix times for the GRX3 in those kind of conditions. And that's all for today's video. If you have any questions about the S631's repeatability in these conditions and the accuracy the receiver can obtain, I'm just gonna link to a video in the top right corner that shows you the accuracy and repeatability we got in these same spots, plus a couple more that we got with the S631. So you can check that out and see exactly what the S631 could do for you. And if you have any questions about anything else you've seen on this YouTube channel or in this video, please give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or check us out on the web at bench-mark.ca.